Hello YouTube, my name is Hero, and today we're going to be discussing the future of Black Desert Online and why you guys should be excited about it. But before we get into that, I just want to let you guys know that I'm finally back from my vacation. If you don't know, I've been on vacation the past month, which is why I haven't been streaming and my uploads haven't been as frequent as they normally are. But don't worry, I'm back now and I'm gonna be streaming nearly every day on Twitch. So make sure you follow and check it out. My Twitch is LOL Hero Twitch. Okay, now let's get into the video. Before we talk about the future content to be released in BDO, I wanna take a second to discuss the PVP channel that got added in our last patch. The PVP channel was a much welcome change of pace to the game that provides an answer to the direction that the developers are headed in terms of open world PVP. It's an exciting addition to the game, as for the first time ever, players can attack to whomever they want without ever having to worry about punishment for doing so. Right now, this channel is nothing more than a large open world arena, but in time I do expect the novelty of it to wear off. Once that happens, the server will be there for only the players who wish to grind and defend their grind spots without being punished by the karma system. With a few more channels like these, there's a very promising future in store for open world BV PVP when it comes to BDO, a feature I thought the development team of Perlibus had long abandoned, and I can only imagine what it will be like when Commasilv releases. Speaking of Commasilv, I made a video during my vacation about what some of the community managers had to say about the future of BDO, and I'll reiterate here in case you haven't seen the screenshots. This CM basically said that Commasilv will be coming in two separate parts and that we will be getting them before Mystic arrives. Uh, at this point, this has been confirmed by Pearl Abyss via Twitter that we will be getting Commasilv on the next patch next week. So Commasilv part two will probably come next month like the GM, like the CM said. Everything she said has been right so far. So just going to go with what she said to be true. Regardless, I just want to let you guys know what common self means for BDO. Right now, the most pop popular sparks to grind are Pirates and Sawson. And most of the time, party play is discouraged in these areas. Everyone is cramped here and have been for over a year. Of course, there are other places to grind, but Pirates and Sawson outmatch them for most players by far. The biggest issue that comes for from this is that the old more seasoned players and the newer less experienced players are pretty much required to share the same environment when comma self part one and part two release this will not be the case anymore there will be grind spots that only end game players can go to which will leave the easier places like saucens and pirates up for grabs this will spread the community out a bit providing more peaceful grinding environments for newcomers but keeping competition alive for the veterans but there's more to common sale than just new grinding spots. The biggest thing that makes me happy is the addition of new gear. There's going to be a new set called the Lemoria set, which is basically a baby boss set. It's reasonably good and drops often when grinding common sale mobs. There's also another set that we're releasing that drops, but it's already enhanced. It cannot be enhanced further, just like the Azula set we have now. But once you get put on this set, as well as the Azula set, you will be at a gear level that is basically the entry level for in-game PvP. Of course, you won't be on the same level as the veterans with the gear they made themselves, and you getting that gear yourself will still be a goal, but this gear will supply you with enough stats or at least start out at a reasonable level in both PvP and PvE. For the first time ever, Black Desert has a gear set that is good enough to allow someone to have a decent stats within a very short period of time. This is very exciting for me, as I have many friends who are interested in BDO, but don't have the time or interest to invest too much time into getting gear. If you have friends like me or you yourself is like that, be sure to share this video as this game is about to get a lot more welcoming for newcomers. Not to mention that it would be a lot easier to reach level 60 and even 61 after Common Silve comes out. This will make the gap between the hardcore and the casual player even smaller. Common Silve will also come with more nodes, which will also spread out no mores a bit, hopefully making them a little less laggy. Lastly and least importantly, Common Silve will provide us with brand new gems, foods, gear, and all sort of things that will change the meta of the game to be much more flexible. There will be new boss gear which will breed new gear setups and metas for people to follow, allowing for more variety in your builds. Needless to say, Commasil will add an overwhelmingly needed flair to BDO. It will still be the same game at its core, but it will be a much more fun for newcomers. 
and the veterans will have much more things to do. It's been a long time coming, but Comic Silver is finally right around the corner and I could not be more hype. Definitely be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Like I said, I will be streaming almost every day on Twitch, so check the link in the description and be sure to follow me over there. Anyways, thanks for watching. It's your boy Hero. See you guys next time. Peace.